Greetings everyone, hopefully you are all having an absolutely wonderful day. My name is Flair Bliss and welcome back to Nyakuri's Rabbit Doll. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be going to the extra end of the DLC. But like my fifth video on this game contained all the endings of the core game, the like the true ending for that matter, it's more, going to be more of a tutorial rather than going in it blind because I had to discover these steps both myself and look up comments on Steam to see how you get this done and while I was asleep this extra end was found so uh, what I have here are hopefully all of the steps required I've been through it a few times and it has worked for me so let's get right into it <laughs> that's funny we can block her way from going out <laughs> First thing to do, once you are able to play without Kuri near you, because she is hidden herself away, is to immediately swap with Yuri. And then from there we can do this. Want to pick up this mirror first. It's important for two different things. Number one, for an event that can be easily missed. And number two, it is important to get the extra end later on. Ask Toru about the mirror you just picked up. After interacting with Toru, what we want to do is flip to the top hat dimension and then we can also place this down in this realm. So just like that. And then an eye appears! Remember the eye from the red slash white bow dimension that we saw back where you originally spawned? Um, that has some bare significance upon how to get the extra end, symbolically. Give a small key to Yuri. Solve a puzzle or let enough time transpire by by just going around the entire room aimlessly so that the slipperiness can disappear and then we can then get the wonderful purple jade plate. This one though, she can carry around unlike the other one when we wash it off. With blue jade plate, wash it off so that it can be used for its magical properties. Acquire the plate with Yuri. Give the jade plate over to Yuri. Flip a step. Rather than putting the mirror down in the top hat realm, put it in the pink bow realm so that uh, Naotoru can, can explain to you that this was the mirror that she saw. I don't know if she was my master at that time. I just used the hand mirror to reflect the moonlight to this big mirror, but I saw her appeared on the mirror. You mean my sister's soul is still wandering in this building? Sounds suspicious, but these kind of mirrors don't reflect the appearance of people, except under moonlight. I never saw her in a mirror before you and Nyakuri came here, which is weird. Very weird indeed. So now what we're going to do is pick this up again. I'm sorry, Nyat. <laughs> uh, I hope she may show up again. Ah, She may well one day put this back down in this realm over here and I'm hoping that with our character here another thing will spawn in Yuri's spawn let's have a look no something else is required put both of the plates up here in the pink bow realm get to to go into this room and grab the white doll there we go. Then put the same place on the top hat realm. Grab the black doll from this room. Then do exactly the same thing, but in the white ribbon dimension. <laughs> Giving all these things different names. Pink ribbon or white bow, stuff like that. This will be an important room later on. So we're going to keep the plates where they are in there. Give a black haired doll to Toru since she's the only one that can really use them. Okay, this is what I was going on about, but you needed to get the, th the two dolls first and the switch for this sequence to play about. Nyaya Toru. Yoro, my master! She looks pixelated. I finally meet you, my little cutie. Master? Go home with Corey and stop going on the prowl. Hmm? So you want us to stop Corey rather than stop Yuri, your own sister? 
but I didn't find my way home yet, Master. And I want to know how did Kui meet me at that day? Did you familiar? <laughs> did you? Were you familiar with Nyakuri before we met my master? Nyakuri, she is the person who loves you the most in this world. Wait! Don't leave me! And that's how that tale goes down, which could only happen by putting the mirror in the same place. As in this realm, but in the Top Hat realm, where the moonlight was more purple rather than a clear slash blue colour. Either one or two things have happened. Number one, and it's the more unlikely scenario, which is not required to put the hand mirror down in the Top Hat realm where you would initially put the hand mirror in order to get the true end of the core game. Number two, which could be the more likely scenario is once that event that just happened transpired the hand mirror is automatically delivered back to Yuri but that's not really a good case of that one so maybe it's just the events that we did with collecting the dolls and getting the switch which allows Toru and Yuro to be able to interact with you in, in Yuri's initial spawn room in this extra scenario but a little bit of a trial and error needs to happen with that even though i've already said i've played with this game a few times it's more like just trying to get to the extra end and you're the doozy that has been on my mind all this time the nyakuri doll so what we need to do with that now is to place it somewhere in this room so we got this hand mirror that mirror seems a little far away and the angle is not good. Okay, so let's switch to another realm. That angle is still not a very good angle. But another thing I'd like to point out is these mirrors. Okay, so we've got a weird mirror. A weird mirror. An extremely weird mirror. So that's a little bit suspect in itself because why would it change dialogue? But also in this realm, you can see that the moonlight is in a different position. So we can do that. So we set the hand mirror down. Maybe here. Looks good. So we put that there. Now that reflects onto there. Mirror is reflecting moonlight. I feel a little hot. Touch the mirror. This is what I missed out on. On the entire time. Okay so now. The hand mirror became extremely dark. And can't reflect the moonlight anymore. A little bit bizarre. I didn't expect this. There must be something else hidden in this room. Take it. Now we're going to take it and go to this realm. Okay, that's still an extremely weird mirror. A weird mirror. And a weird mirror. So what we need to do now is switch to this character and interact with a mirror in this realm. Aha! The mirror is radiating. A soft light shining in the mirror. Again, that warm feeling. Let's touch the mirror. And bloody prince are on it. Bloody bear for prince appeared on the mirror. Holy moly. So Yuri couldn't do anything to this mirror in this realm. But Toru can. Now let's switch back to Yuri. And let's see what we can do with the mirror now. Oh, do you see that? Somebody is in there. The mirror is shining again. And this one. An extremely weird mirror. There we go, that's what I was thinking of. You had to interact with it once, just walk away, and then go to it again. A broken mirror, and now an emitting mirror within Nyakuri's realm. Evil power flows from back of the mirror. I can't control what happened to this house for a long time, but I'm sure there are huge secrets behind these things. Smash the mirror. So we do that, hop in, and we just see... A desecration of this poor place. This was the tater shop, by the way. This teddy bear has no eyes. Two exactly the same rabbit dolls leaning on each other. The teddy bear is watching you. It's almost like you're guarding these two bears. Hmm. And this ritual circle. What is this? Oh, no. I can't believe she did this to her. What the hell was going on here? I need more information. We certainly do, sis. 
Sister? Oh my god. No. It's not true. This is just an illusion. That's what you said in the true end. You just didn't believe what was in front of you until somebody pointed it out. I call it a little bit of denial, but then again, the fact of a lack of evidence in front of you is something which you can say that can take you on both sides of the argument. The room was stained with blood, but the white cat on the table is not injured. It's still breathing, which must mean that some dark magic was put into place. Many kinds of clothes. Well done, Top Hat. Variety kinds of sewing kits in the cabinet. My memory did not lie when my sister was still alive. Now, Corey was indeed the owner of that tailor shop. Right. Seems to be in pain when she died, certainly. So now, this was a more peaceful time. Feather pen. Orders on June. Today, a bear. Broken arm. Top Hat. Custom eyes, rabbit dolls, two eyes. Hmm. So who actually made the bears? Was it Nayakuri? Or was it Yuri? Or was it Euro? And then we flip to this one, which is vastly different. We're going to fix the teddy bear up. We don't want to tear it apart. No way. And then... Never mind. The teddy bear with our eyes is staring at the rabbit doll's eyes. Evil power is getting stronger. Give me my eyes! Uh, the huge bloody eyes are looking at here. Uh, we want to flip back. What? What the hell? I thought something just changed there. Hmm. No, it's just the positioning. Okay, then we leave this place and look at my god, there's so many eyes around this place. <laughs> uh, remember the eye we saw in the mirror? Yeah, that's going to be plastered all over the place now. This room is desecrated. Oh, you laugh, Nyokuri rabbit doll. You laugh, you sinister doll. Christ. And now look what you've done to yourself, even though we can't really interact with it. Hmm. This section was what I missed out on my initial playthrough of this game. Like, interacting with me and doing all that. That is an incredibly specific set of instructions to do. Which is why getting this end is so hard. With the handle we found in the white bow dimension, we're going to put it on here and then set it down. Remove it and then go to the top hat dimension, put it down and remain it down. Uh, put the switch down. That activates the stone gate to the right so we can go onto that walkway into the other building. Then we want to take away the switch handle. It won't deactivate what we just did because it's already pulled down. Then switch here, put this here, mount it. Then push the switch down. But I'm not sure what this actually does. It's a bit of an unknown factor as to what that actually does within the game. But it does something and it is important for the extra end. So we're just going to roll with it. Also, those are going to stay there. Next up, we have some parkour with both of our characters. Yes. We can get to this rooftop with Yuri, but it is more difficult, much more difficult than we can with Toru. Because we wouldn't think that we can get up there with Yuri, considering that she can only jump once and doesn't dash across left or right. So, I think it's this one here. So you may notice that there is something that you hit, you can't jump up anymore. What we want to do is go on top of that little block, jump up twice, and then dash across twice. And luckily, the game will auto say so that if we fall down, then we won't succumb to the effects of coming back here and needs to do it again. So, go across like that. <laughs> I love this little bit, actually. I actually really like parkour and platforming in games. I just don't play a lot of them because sometimes it can get frustrating. I uh, want to pull the switch here so that the platform on the left then spools out. And luckily, the gap under there is just large enough for us. Then go across over to here, and then go across up to here if we can. The timing is very precise. You don't want to um, 
press the jump button the second time too soon. Oh, gosh. Come on, I was doing it flawlessly earlier when I was practicing. Why is it on the actual run when I want to do well? You decide... There we go. You decide to do that. Okay. So we pull that into place. And then with this one, we have to be a bit crafty. We have to jump once, dash once, and then jump again. Remember, we can dash twice and jump twice. So, And they're interchangeable. And then we can go up here. And then what we want to do now is... You are going to remain there, and we are going to summon Yuri, and we're going to do the same thing, but in a different way. So, what we'll do first, actually, is save the game so we don't lose our progression immediately. Go here, save the game, go across over to here, go away, interactions with the pillar, and then what we want to do... Okay, this corridor is really unique. This building has probably messed up my the side, by the side effects of time magic. In this plat game mode, you can press Z or enter to jump. Naruto can jump twice. Press up key to dash when your character is jumping. Yes. Yuri can only dash... No, you can only jump once. She can, cannot dash at all. But... You may notice that in this time around, if we sneak up to this portion here and then change dimensions, there is something which we hit. Like, if you notice how quickly we can jump because she keeps hitting something. So what we want to do is jump and go onto that platform and then up onto the roof. Then we can jump across here. Now, this is going to take some finicky work here, but it is possible. So what we want to do is not, so not change the dimensions immediately, but jump, then change like this. And then we have this evil eye looking at us. So they want to do is jump back down. If I remember, we could do it more easily if we um, did it in this realm. Oh, goodness sakes. I do not like it when that kind of thing happens. And that is why I saved beforehand. It's weird that the game did not auto-save.
There we go. We finally done it, and then we'll change dimensions once again so we can match hers. And now we're here for meteor showers. Look, it's a meteor shower. We are really lucky. They are beautiful. I agree. Do you want to make a wish? Both stars can help you achieve it. I c I c <laughs> it. Really? Of course. You know, meteor showers don't come every day. Not something you see every day. Oh, I wish I could eat. <laughs> hey, Doru, don't speak out. Just keep your wish in your mind. If you say it, it won't work. Ah, oh, that's a really pretty CG right there. Both wishing for something. Dear God of Star, I wish Naya Toru can be my real sister. Ah, Is that your wish, Yuri? Ah, oh, that's a wonderful wish. A lovely wish. A gorgeous wish. And that's one of the two CGs you can unlock within the extra mode. Pretty difficult if you ask me, considering Yuri's requirements to get up there. And those boxes will come in purpose later on. Not in purpose, but they have a purpose later on and you'll see what they are. In the pink bow dimension or pink ribbon dimension, get the red crayon. Switch dimensions, get the blue crayon. And then from here, what we want to do is wait for the other carrots to come around and read this particular bookshelf here. And that will be particularly important for an item that we can give her later on, which will give a little bit more context towards Toru's story. Um, what? Is that meteor stuck in the sky? Hold on. That meteor stuck in the sky. You can see where the menu is and how that's just stuck there. That's... A little bit hilarious, if you ask me, but at the same time, nah, 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 not that hilarious. That needs to be dealt with. Apply the red crayon here. Apply the blue crayon here. Get one of the two ornaments from the white ribbon dimension. I'm going to keep saying what, <laughs> ribbon or bow at this point for either the white or the pink in this Place and then get the other ribbon or ornament from this one. I'm getting myself tangled up now. Then what to do is hang both of these up. So we'll put the moon one here. Hang that one up. And then you can also see that eyes also desecrate this place too. The eyes, they will always watch you. Then we we'll want to switch back to our character here. Then... And only then, what we're going to be doing is placing only one doll down at a time. And the reason for this is going to be explained right now. We want only one source of light at a time to refer to this research journal, which talks about like dreams and how dreams can be more vivid or more lucid in a way. So this one says Moonlight, which refers to the black doll, which refers to Yuri. So what we want to do with Yuri is to flip back to the pink ribbon dimension, plane, however you want to call it, and then go to sleep here, sleep there. And then it will slow transition back to Toru. There we go. But we immediately want to go back to Yuri. And then a dream happens. <laughs> that meteor on the right is hilarious. I don't know why. <laughs> Adds a bit more blue to the scene. Just don't come to me again, Nayakori. Even if you become a cat, I still cannot accept you. My relationship with Yuri is not as fragile as you think. So that black cat has an infatuation for Euro. By the way... This is the last time I come to this library. You also know that the plague in the east is about to spread here, right? I have my own way to avoid the plague. And you better pay more attention about your own safety. You said you like cats. I can become a cat anytime you want. I can do whatever you need, please. I am very grateful for everything you have done for me, Nayakuri. I'm sorry to say that, but my answer won't change. Wait, Nayakuri, there is one thing I want to ask you for help. I know you are the best tailor in town. Would you help me make eyes for two rabbit dolls? 
and there goes that dream. And we can't move around while we are still with Yuri, so what we need to do is wake her up. Wake Yuri up. What time is it? It's not dawn yet. Okie dokie. So what we need to do now is pick you up and then place the other doll down here. So rather than only moonlight, now it's only sunlight. And then rather than Yuri, it is now time for the other character's turn to do her thing. So you go up here. And then you go to sleep over here. There we go. And then flip back to her. And then that comes along. Another dream sequence. Which this time I think it is more or less in the future. Or in the past. <laughs> in comparison to the other one. Because Naokuri is in her human form rather than her cat form. What form is her original form? There will be a meteor shower tonight. Just don't come to me again, Nayakori. Because my answer won't change, no matter how many times you ask me. Why, Yuro? I'm the one who loves you the most in this world. Really, now? I could do anything you would like. Please, please don't leave me alone. I'm sorry. I can't give you what you want. I am very grateful for everything you have done for me, Nayakori. So, this is your final word, Yuri. You mentioned about Yuri? Hmm. Did you, Nayakori, kill Yuro for the sake of her love, and then, in an attempt to keep resurrecting Yuro back, you gave her features that you have now with the ears and the tail. So in that case, you killed Euro for Euro's love, but in another form. <coughs> Wake her up. <laughs> Get up, cat. Ah, what time is it? The time is nonsense under my magic. I had an interesting dream. A lovely dream. A big old dream. So flip back to you. And then place the other doll down. Put this one over here. And that does that. Yes, you moved to the correct one. Why, you really want to read this? I'm just looking for some stories. Those are not stories, Cat. Those are histories. Histories are not novel. They are not always funny or interesting. Yeah, that's definitely true. But I really want a storybook. Shall we give her one? At some point we will, Nayatoru. You will definitely be blessed with a book. A wonderful book. An eye is there. And somehow, where she is right now. A clue for us then. For that point in time. Eh, I just want to read that book. Like, what was wrong with that, Mr. Bear? Eh, oh, why'd you do that, Mr. Portrait? The portrait oozes blood. Uncover the painting? Yeah, why not? And the bear strikes back once again. Those paws have got us into a tight grip. And we eventually suffocate. Damn it. Yep, game over indeed. Yay, we did it! That's extremely difficult to do since we sewed up that other bear. So we had three oppositions and we only have two people on our side. Teddy Bear's friend, play the volleyball game with three teddy bears and win. We won despite being at a disadvantage. You surprised me a little bit. Nice work, Naratoru. You did well too, Yuri. So the other character should have said that. Dream. I think those bears had a great time too. Maybe they're just puppets under a curse. 
I can feel they will come. They they will come from a specific individual. They are offensive, but they are not our enemy. If you say that, something's on your mind. Yuri, are you okay? Is there something wrong? Don't. Don't worry. This magic makes me a little tired. If you say so, I can hold on to the end. Don't push yourself too hard, okay, Yuri? To be honest, I'm pretty happy tonight. I haven't been so happy for a long time. Anyway, I owe you an apology, Nayatoro. It was me who stole that rabbit doll, and I set up those traps to tempt you to come here. I also pretend to, Nayako to be Nayakuri to try to keep you here. I'm sorry to do that to you, but I did all of this just to bring my sis Euro back. I thought you were her at the beginning. I thought you were just you just lost your memories as Euro. Nayakuri told me that you are not Euro, but I don't believe her. And then you also told me the same thing. To be honest, I have noticed you are not the real Nayakuri. I don't know. I knew Euro loves cats, but I don't believe she would sacrifice herself to save a cat. She didn't do that. She did something much darker than that. How how could you say that? You said Nayakuri was the first one you saw after you woke up, right? She must know the truth about my sister's death, but she keeps avoiding me. I don't have a chance to ask her. Toru, we knew each other for a long time since Euro saved you and brought you back here, right? But I don't like cats so much, I have to tell you something. First, that magic gave you the second life. But it is almost impossible to spell that evil magic alone because you have to cure yourself first and sacrifice your dead body to use that magic and a dead body just can't use magic anymore exactly second about your death i can't imagine there were still people wandering on the street to kill okay while the epidemic was spreading but i do remember there were only a few people still living in the town because they could handle magical powers to protect themselves and Nayakuri, the owner of that tailor shop, she was one of them. Wait, I can feel strange power is spreading here. I think I should leave here first. Fair play. But we do want to go back to there. And then read this. Red moonlight. Reflect. Black mirror. Black hand. Mirror. Reflect. Blood red moonlight could get something out of it. It wants to tell me that I should use the black mirror to reflect blood red moonlight. Back where we originally placed the mirror down. There might be somewhere with mirror and blood red moonlight. Indeed there is. Doors closed. Okay, so we're going to have to do that. And then what we want to do is go down over here because a book will drop there. A red cover storybook. Obtain item red cover storybook and then you probably notice there's a bit of a difference in the bottom left corner There is a hole in the wall and then a Plate of hot hand made stir-fried curry Cabbage I mean sorry, but there is an evil presence nearby so we can't take it There is a suspicious one nearby Better be careful, but now that, that suspicious one's gone. We can take the cabbage this will be necessary for a particular event that can happen in the extra end itself. Hmm. And then also there's cat food can here. And open it. There are a few words print inside the can. To be honest, nothing will happen even if you keep opening the can. But we did definitely want to do that. So do not be like that with me, okay? But before we head back that way actually what i want to do is show you the other side of it because i should have done that in the first place is remember this place that's the other side but we can't re-enter it but before we go over and put the black mirror back down what we want to do is with the small key that we took earlier from Toro, or rather Toro gave to us we want to lock this door, and the mechanics behind this is unknown, but it is a requirement to be able to get the extra end. If we don't do all three dimensions, then unfortunately we will not be able to get 
the wonderful extra end in itself. And I think those are all of the requirements. The extra end has a few different variants in which can be played out. So there's one variant which does one thing, another variant that does another thing, and then another variant which happens only when you give Toru the cabbage. Eyes in here too. The diary. Okay, read a diary. I like everything about you. Your smell, your voice. I cherish every moment you passes by me. I don't know when the petals will fall, just as I don't know the, your answer. But I still want to profess my love to you, Euro. I cannot wait even one more second. I heard that there will be a meteor shower tonight. Ahaha, what we did earlier with Nayatoru. Mighty God, please let the stars bring courage and blessings to me. Why not me? Oh dearie me. So that can only happen with Yuri. And that is a reference towards the meteor stars. Showers. That we saw earlier. Lots of eyes along this way. Just like lots of eyes in every other way. Okay, here's another eye. So what we need to do now is just say black hand mirror here, push it down, and then the same door as the normal ending will appear. She is transparent, and it seems like she can't see me. And now, the indicator towards if you've got the extra end rather than the normal end is if you have lanterns up here rather than plaques. And also most importantly, there's a book over here rather than Euro's shadow. There is a research journal on the table. Human beasts merge. A forbidden dark magic. A life is priceless. Cannot be traded. Cannot be given easily. Dead individuals cannot be resurrected. But they can be used as materials for ancient magic. The human beasts merge magic. Sacrifice the body of the dead and the souls of the beasts in exchange for a sinful resurrection. What we saw in the broken mirror in the bedroom, that was that process. Naya Kuri killed Euro and also a cat that was somehow nearby in order to be able to resurrect Euro as Naya Turo. Naya Kuri did that. The Crimea, product of this magic, possessed the body of the dead with a twisted soul. And now the truth has finally unveiled upon yourself. So that's the sound of a door unlocking in the distance. It sounds like the room across from the roo rooftop, sorry. Roof, roof, roof. So that was the lovely, 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 lovely door. M mirrors reflecting moonlight. Okay, so we can't pick that back up again. So remember that door by the balcony south, which we couldn't open? Well, in one particular dimension, we can now open it. Cannot be opened. Can be opened. And this is a little special place. I must get you. Who is trying to get us? Is it Naikori that's trying to get us? And how dare you say that about us? And also just notice that the, uh, the meteor glitch earlier behind the menu is gone, which is nice. So from here, what I want to do is change to... Oh yes, we can actually be any of the three characters now. So change to you. This is going to be the first variant of the extra end. What I want to do is go to you. Oh, hey, I want to play hide and seek with you. Hide and seek? Great, but why? I want to tell you something about Naya Kori. About Kori? Yep, let's play hide and seek first. I'll hide and you play the seeker. You can close your eyes now. Count to 30, then come and find me. Okay. We'll do just that then. I'm going to start, Yuri. Where can you possibly be? Uh, are you going to go this way? No, I'm joking. She is in this one here. <laughs> you are really a clever cat, or a cleaver cat. I have a good sense of smell, as cats do. I'm really happy you could play with me. 
Yuri? We can play again if you want. Good times are always go fast. Come to the roof. I'll tell you something. Okie dokie. So she still has the cabbage and the red book. The truth may sound harsh, but I have to tell you now. What you see and what you hear are all Nayakuri's lies. Even the Euro you saw was faked. They are all Nayakuri's magic. And you? You are just a substitute. Hi. Well say, Yuri. And your eyes seem a bit redder, Nayakuri. What's going on now? I'm glad to hear that. It's time for her to know the truth. Kuri, what's wrong with your eyes? Nothing. It was the curse. Are you okay? I can help you if you need. Don't touch her, Toru. She is the one who murdered Yuro. Oh, you finally know that, Yuri. That's great. I don't need to hide it anymore. Of course, I can't keep hiding it. As long as you keep investigating, you eventually will find the truth. Kuri, what are you saying? What do you mean? Naya Kuri, explain yourself. Tell this innocent cat what you did before. Yes, you are right. The Euro you saw is just a phantom I made up. Everyone knows that dead person cannot back to life. But you are really a fool. You actually believe that Naya Toro is Euro with no memories. I really tried my best to convince you that she was dead. Nayatoru, now you know what this demon did to Yuro. Say something, Kuro. Kuri, please tell me that this is not true. Tell me who am I? Why am I why do I look like Yuro? Please, Kuro. Kuri, tell me what happened that night. Nayatoru, do you still trust her? She killed Yuro just because Yuro refused her. That's correct. That's what those dreams t told us. And she made you an alternative for Euro, a human beast chimera. That's why you think you look. Is, that's why you think you like Nayakure so much. This, this cannot be true. Think of your brain, Nayatoro. Why she never told you about what happened before you woke up. Because you don't need to know that murderer. You are the fake Euro. The only role you have to play is a stupid cat knowing nothing but stay by her side. She wants you to be the perfect Euro in her eyes, but she killed my sister to make you. You may want to know why she leave to you alone and transformed into a cat after it came here. She wants to fool me with her tricks. To stop me looking for my sister and erase my hope. So that her utopia can last forever. Enough. I am the one who loves you over most. How dare you deny my love. <laughs> Nayakuri the Andri. Yuri, am I really just an alternative one? You are. I have to tell you, yes. So Nayakuri loves you though. And you also love Euro. Also explains the different um, failure Nayatoro's back in the first floor of the core game where the Black Cat can enter where we just saw all of those dead failures of Nayatoro because they probably did not love Nayakuri in the way that she wanted them to do so. But I am a fake one. No, Toro, you are the real Euro in your eyes. <laughs> you are the only one I love in this world. Liar! I am not! <coughs> Yikes! You can shut your mouth up now, Nayakuri. Wait, that gap. That gap. I want to leave. Euro, my master is dead and nobody likes me we like you Nayatoru don't do this don't at last I am nobody I am nothing oh 
gosh. It's just like that. That quick and painful. So now what I want to do is give you the stir fry cabbage. No, wait. We want to do exactly the same thing, but rather than from the perspective of Naya Toru, we want to do it from the perspective of Yuri. Hey! You are really a cleaver cat. I have a good sense of smell. I'm really happy you could play with me. Yuri? We could play again if you want. Good times is always fast. Come to the roof. I'll tell you something. Now that we're playing as Yuri, this will go out a bit differently. Okay. You can shut your mouth up now, Nayakori. Oop. There's someone you're forgetting. Ugh. You. I know. You're always better than me. No matter magic. Or love. Just turn back. You are missing your last chance. Oop. We're going to save you! That's what the boxes are for. Oh. Wow. Look at all these different events transpiring. Oh. Did she grab her? Okay, her face... Oh gosh, her face looks very indifferent. No, we grabbed the rabbit doll and... And that. Okay. Goodness sakes, you. Why'd you have to be a fiend? At least you can't speak anymore. Rabbit doll. Anything else? Anything else? No, but this doll does cause us hallucinations. So I'm not sure what that does. No on you. Okay, so that's the second variation of all that. Third variation time. We want to give you the stir-fry cabbage. Here we go. What's in this? Can I eat this? Of course. Hmm. You must be hungry. How does it taste? It's great. It tastes, it really tastes like Corey's handmade meal. And also the red cover storybook. What's up, Yuri? Hand the storybook to her. You said you want a storybook, right? Here you are. Now, remember earlier that we interacted with um, Toru back in the library where she was moaning about not having a storybook? Well, if we didn't do that, then you would probably wonder that... Toru probably wouldn't want a book like that, so she would not have the option to give the book to Toru. This library is small but complete. Now that, now that we've done that, let us read the storybook. Read, yes. So, was this how we initially met Nayakori? Are you okay? Yuri, do you have some food with you? I have some cabbage, your favourite food. But she looks starving. We should give her some food. Okay, it's up to you, sis. Hey there. It's like a baby seeing its mother for the first time or something like that. Like, that kind of love is just so infectious. Why did this book show me these things? The storybook disappeared. For some other reason. But, it's a very nice story of origins for these three characters of how they both met Nayakuri for the first time or did they not sure why you are there dear Yuri but there can uh, there can only be one of us okay 
Let's see how our other friend is doing. Damn. My eyes hurt. What did she do? No, I have to stop her. You have to stop Yuri. This is different because no longer is the building shaking, but her vision is blurry and red. Very red. Incredibly red, as you may say. Although your position will probably be like this. I'm sorry, Toru. Ow! My eye hurts! My eyes hurt, for goodness sakes! What has Yuri done to you, then, that allowed this to happen? Hmm. I have a theory that it has to do with the mirror. Like, the mirror is, in a way, a part of Nayakuri's demonic powers. And by shattering her particular realm of that mirror, she can't access the mirror, but also the mirror itself, from her perspective, is broken. And therefore warped. So what else can we do down here? Hmm. There is a screenshot of Nayakuri on the DLC Steam page where she can interact with these books. And also the screen itself is not red, so... There's still some digging into the game itself because there is a rumor going around that there is a true end to this extra end itself which involves Nayakuri herself. So that is definitely something to ponder about. Uh, there's one more place I want to investigate before going over there and that is down these stairs. My eyes hurt. Sure, they do hurt, but it won't be as painful as your outcome later on, dearie. We can jump around as well. The same mechanics as Yuri, we can only jump once. But she cannot get to the hidden platform because she does not have that sight. Hmm. Usually there's a book here, one about like time and space magic. Over here is a lovely bed. Do you want to sleep, Nayakuri? Pretend that none of this ever happened. Ow, my eyes. I have to stop Yuri. Now. What about reading this book? Of course. <laughs> of course that would be a thing. Uh, she can't see the tables. Even though we're in the same plane of existence as the other two characters are. Red moonlight. Very, very red. Moonlight. That should be me. Tu hasn't played with me for a long time. And I'm sure she would really want to play with you now in the current state that you're in. Hmm. Somebody is in there. Wouldn't you agree? Would you agree, my evil cat fiend lion friend? Hmm. You. I know. You're always better than me, no matter magic or love. But thank you for giving Toru the cabbage I made for her. Ah, turn back. You are missing your last chance. My last chance? How dare does reality do that? Oh no, we we took a bit too long that time. Oh, uh, goodness sakes. Why that? Why us? Why the rabbit doll? No, oh, that doesn't feel satisfying at all. Like, I think I took a bit too long at the very start of a sequence to go here, then go here, then down one, and then go here, then rapidly press enter to save her, or the rabbit doll, as it were. But those are the different variants of the extra end in itself, folks. That... I believe is 100% or at least 99% of the overall DLC that has come... Wait, why is there a barrier there? Hmm? That... That makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense whatsoever. What on earth? And this reality should be broken down now. And this reality. This is the only reality that should exist nowadays. So folks, that is Nayakuri's Rabbit Doll, both the core game 
and the DLC, all the endings completed. There probably are some other incredibly minor things in this game that could contribute towards the story in itself, but I believe I have covered the majority, if not the entirety of the story of this game. Now, despite the frustrations, the frustrations I had initially with the difficulty of the puzzles in this particular game, I thoroughly enjoyed the extra bit of story added onto the core game. It has given a really nice touch to the story itself. It has answered a lot of questions in the core game, as in how did this become? Who actually, um, what actually happened with Nayatoru and Euro as like, they're two separate entities, but at the same time, they are the same person, or Nayakuri wanted them to be the same person, but with Euro's entire being, with Nayatoro's affection towards Nayakuri. Like, Euro didn't have the affection that Nayakuri wanted for her from Euro. So that was why she ended up killing the one that she loved the most, so that she can then resurrect Euro with a dead cat. So that then this entire tale can then be prophesized. It is a tale about love. It is about loss. But it also is about jealousy. Because Euro loved Yuri because they're sisters. But Nayakuri believed that Yuri was some kind of antagonist. And that. Yuri took all the attention and the love away from Euro, so that was why that was the case in there. So that, folks, is what we call, what we like to call, uh, where is the menu? Um, no, options, um, continue to tie the screen. Okay, so that's every CG that you can unlock in the game. So there's this one here. Then we've got the second variant. Then we've got that one. Then we've got this one here, which is kind of like a homage to Guaratena, the artist that's mentioned within Eve. Then we've also got aspects of Witch's House, such as like the giant teddy bear and a few puzzles like the laughing book, but also a less common game called Remember in the fact that it was a tragic tale of one person's love for another but unlike in remember where the protagonist initially died by some other means in this tale it was done by a similar sort of means but by somebody that is within the game itself rather than it just being a freak accident like in remember so i think that the developer of this game took inspiration from those three games Remember, made by Keyspring, Eve, made by Kuri, and for which is house made by Fumi. And then we've got this one, which is the first bad ending of the core, the core game. Then we've got the normal ending. This one, in its own way, could be considered the, the, the best ending, I don't know. No, anyway, the normal ending, um, that was the real one, which then turned out to be the evil one. So, hmm. Then we've got this one over here, which was the true ending. So, we left her, then left with her, aside that she wasn't stabbed then. Then we've got the meteor shower. That is a lovely scene, by the way. And then we've got this scene over here, which really speaks for itself. There was more frames for that, though, weren't there? Hmm. A bit missing from that scene. Yeah, because it had a bit more to it above Yuri in that one. Okay, folks. That is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please check out this game for yourselves if you want to find out any other mysteries which I may not have encountered during my playthrough of this game. Um, I think that's going to be it for this game. There's literally nothing else I can do. And that's also the first time I managed to um, win the volleyball game up against three teddy bears. But you get a hidden achievement called Teddy Bear's Friend. Play the volleyball game with three teddy bears and win. 
So that is the only hidden achievement in this game. That was the achievement that was added, I believe, with the update that came out with the game itself a few hours after the game's initial uh, DLC release. But thank you all so much for watching, guys. This has been Yakuri's Rabbit Doll, and we shall see each other's in the next video. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.